I've been making these wildlife videos for about four years now and a question that comes up time and time again is how do I separate the crows from the rooks, the ravens from the jackdaws? So in this video I'm going to tell you how to identify every single member of the corvid family that lives in the UK. I'm going to start with what I would say is the easiest corvid to identify, the Eurasian jay. With a wingspan of 52 to 58 centimetres and growing to weights of around 160 grams, it's this bird's orangey peach colouring that makes it stand out from the other members of its family. Aside from this, jays also have black moustaches, black tails and tips to their wings, but another striking feature is a flash of almost luminescent blue on each of their wings. They also have white rumps, which are most obvious when they're flying. Jays are often seen in pairs or on their own, and although, like a lot of the corvids, their calls can vary greatly, here is an example of one of their most distinctive. Next up is another corvid that can't really be mistaken for anything else in the UK, the Eurasian magpie. Their contrasting white and dark markings and long tail make them stand out. They have white shoulders and undersides, black rumps, heads and necks, and when viewed in good lighting, their wings and tails have a purpley green sheen to them. They have a wingspan of 52 to 62 centimetres and weigh from 180 to 270 grams. Magpies are rarely seen on their own and can usually be seen in pairs or in larger family and unrelated groups. Here is one of the most common calls. The next corvid on this list is the jackdaw. These are the smallest, fully dark member of the corvid family in the UK and are black over most of their bodies with a noticeable slate grey neck and chest and a contrasting black cap. When viewed closely their eyes are a pale shade of blue and their grey markings can get lighter as the birds get older. Jackdaws usually live in extended groups and are quite famous for nesting in old chimney stacks much to the disdain of chimney sweeps and the owners of older buildings. They have a wingspan of 64 to 73 centimetres and grow to around 220 grams in weight. The most common jackdaw call is quite distinct and sounds like this. If there was any bird on this list that from description alone might be mistaken for a jackdaw, it is the hooded crow. Unlike the birds that have already appeared on this list, hooded crows are quite limited in their range and are mainly seen in the west and north of Scotland and in Northern Ireland. They do sometimes turn up in other parts of the country though, so their range is not a hard and fast way of identifying them. Hooded crows are very closely related to carrion crows, which will appear later in this video, and until fairly recently they were considered to be two colour morphs of the same species. They do sometimes hybridise where their range overlaps. Hooded crows have a wingspan of 93 to 104 centimetres and grow to between 400 and 650 grams. They have black wings, heads and tails with light grey backs, shoulders and undersides. Currently there is no known difference between the hooded crows and the carrion crows calls with one of their most common sounding like this. The next three species are the most likely to be mixed up with one another, starting with the rook. These birds are glossy black over their entire bodies, except for a featherless patch at the base of adult birds' beaks, which can appear grey or even white. They have a wingspan of 81 to 99 centimetres and weigh from 280 to 340 grams. Rooks nest socially with tens and sometimes hundreds of nests being within the same patch of trees. This is known as a rookery. They are most often seen in flocks rather than alone or as a pair, but as with everything in animal behaviour, there are always exceptions to the rules. Here is one of the rooks' most common calls. Next up is the carrion crow. These birds have 84 to 100 centimetre wingspans 
and grow to between 400 and 600 grams. They are neat glossy black over their entire bodies and unlike rooks, they have feathers over their entire faces and down the top half of their beaks. These birds are the most common of the fully black corvids to live in urban areas in the UK and are usually seen alone, in pairs or in small family groups, although sometimes a small flock of young birds will move around together. Unlike rooks, carrion crows always nest alone. They are absent from the far north of Scotland and are only rarely seen in Northern Ireland. Although the feathered beak of a carrion crow is a good way of separating them from adult rooks, young rooks do have feathered faces and beaks, so separating the young of either species can be quite difficult. Luckily, they stay with their parents for quite a long time, so if you see birds with bald faces in a flock, it's likely that all of them are rooks. One of the most common carrion crow calls sounds like this. The largest member of the corvid family on this list, and in fact the joint largest corvid in the world, is the common raven. They have a massive wingspan of 110 to 150 centimeters and can weigh from 700 grams all the way up to 2 kilos. They have larger and more powerful beaks when compared to carrion crows and also display a thicker patch of feathers around their throat area. Ravens are mostly seen around coastal and upland areas, particularly in the north and west of the UK, although they do seem to be spreading south and eastward in recent years. Ravens are most often confused with carrion crows and aside from their larger beaks, preferred habitat and greater size, Another way of separating the two is the shape of their tails when they are flying. Carrion crows show rounded tails, whereas ravens are often described as having wedge or diamond shaped tails. Ravens sometimes gather in large flocks, especially when feeding during the winter, and one of their most used calls is described as a croak and sounds like this. The final corvid on this list is the rarest, the chuff. Also known as the Cornish chuff or the red billed chuff, there are currently only around 1,250 of these birds in the UK and they are completely restricted to the west coast of Wales, Cornwall, the Isle of Man and the west of Northern Ireland. They have a wingspan of 75 to 90 centimetres and grow to between 260 and 350 grams. Chuffs are completely black over their whole bodies, but unlike any other bird in the crow family, they have red bills and legs. Chuffs are quite particular about their habitat and are almost entirely found in areas with coastal cliffs for nesting and short grass for foraging. A chuff's call sounds like this. And there we go. Hopefully now you can identify every corvid that lives in this country. If you enjoyed this video, check out this other British wildlife video. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.